like to know how to apply Gila heat control film? Yes! Well then keep watching for the do's and the don'ts of this type of application. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump right into this project. The first thing you wanna do is measure the glass so you know what size roll you're gonna need. My glass is 43 inches wide, 28 inches in height, and it is also the same for the top glass. Most of the rolls come 36 inches wide or 48 inches wide. The window film can be installed horizontally or vertically. So just pick the way the film will work best for your window and that you can make the most use of it. One tip I've heard people say is when you apply your window film, make sure that the sun isn't directly on the window. My guess is because the heat will actually dry up your liquid a little too quickly. I decided to cut the width using my cutting mat. We want to cut the film about an inch larger than the entire perimeter. Make sure you roll your film to avoid creasing. On my first try, I immediately put a crease about three inches in and had to cut that part off and remeasure again. Okay, so I tried to lay it down to measure it out and my window pane is really big and I don't have that big of a table. So it was very, very difficult and I kept creasing it, which was so annoying. But here's another technique that I've seen done. It'll be the first time that I'm trying to do it. Let's see how it goes. Wet the window and place the film on top of it and then cut about an inch larger than your glass. So in hindsight, I probably would want whatever piece I want cut up here. I decided why not flip and try again? Maybe I do want it the other way. Oh my gosh. Then I grabbed some blue tape to help hold up the film. Maybe I should have tried laying down again to cut the height. Already I feel like I like this so much better than trying it on my table because it is flat. Having film up on the window helped prevent it from rolling up. The absolute most important step is to clean your window. Any dirt, dust, or pet hair, or my hair that sheds everywhere uh, will absolutely be visible to the eye when you apply your, the film. First, spray the entire window with your cleaning solution. You can clean your window with any type of glass cleaner like Windex, or use the spray in the window film application kit if you'd like, or a homemade solution. Then you're gonna use a window scraper and scrape the entire glass. This will remove any stubborn dirt or invisible paint splatter that will not be able to be removed by a normal window squeegee. So if you're gonna do more than one window in your house, uh, I would recommend the four inch window scraper. It's, I'm gonna link it below. I had a mini scraper, so I was like, ah, I'll just use that. But now I regret it and I wish I got the four inch scraper. Now spray your window generously again and use a window squeegee to clean it. Make sure you use overlapping motions. Another good tip is at the end of each squeezy, 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 Another great tip, at the end of each squeegee pass, if you use a, a non lint cloth to wipe out any of the excess dirt so you're not reapplying it as you make another pass. Over time, of course, uh, your window frame is probably going to get some dirt pushed into it also, so we want to make sure we clean the window frame before applying the film. So the window film has a protective layer to keep the adhesive clean. Gently rub the two sides together, but be careful not to crease the film. You're gonna feel that one side is more slippery than the other. The slippery side is going to be your protective film. And a way to pull it off is uh, at the corners, put two pieces of scotch tape facing each other and peel apart slowly. As you pull apart 
the window film, you're going to want to spray your application generously. This reduces the static charge that may attract any dirt or dust onto the film. Let's see what's inside this window film application kit. So this easy to use trimming tool that provides the recommended 16th of an inch spacing along the edge of the window. This hard card squeegee and it comes with a bonus lint free cloth. After much troubleshooting, I remembered that you're supposed to put the film side against the glass so you can tear away the clear protective film. Holy cow. They also said you would normally do that process on a side that isn't being used, like if you have multiple panes uh, to like, do it on this pane or that pane, but uh, I only have so many. Now that the protective cover is pulled off, you're going to want to spray your film generously with your application spray. Then spray only the center of your window pane. If you spray the edges, you might pull any dirt that might be left over back into the window. So let's avoid that. Now carefully apply the window film to the glass. The solution will hold it in place. Now grab the yellow squeegee from your kit, which is a hard plastic. You will start in the center and work your way out and carefully squeegee the solution towards the out of edges, but start about one inch from the edge. Pushing is also more effective than pulling on the squeegee. This is an example of a bubble finger that can happen. And this is an example, if your film creases, what it will look like. Luckily, since this is a DIY job and not too worried about it, Otherwise, when I installed this for my mom, I did have to completely cut a whole new piece. You don't want any imperfections. Now we're at a good point to trim the edges with a razor blade. I'm just using the card from the kit. Carefully slide your squeegee card up into the corner of the glass. You want to press the film right into the frame. Then lay your razor blade against your tool and carefully slide the blade halfway down the tool. Then with both of them together, you're going to slide down the frame of the window. Repeat the process for each of the four sides. So you will notice there's going to be a little gap between your window film and the edge of the frame. It's barely noticeable and it's kind of necessary. Now that everything is trimmed, even though we squeegeed already, there's still solution between your film and the glass. First, spray your film. Note that you're always working with a wet surface so the tool can will slide over the film and not crease it. To accomplish this step, we're gonna use the hard plastic tool that came in your kit. Using both hands, you will start in the center and force the liquid out into the edges. A great tip is to put a wipe out over your tool so that when the water is squeegeed out, it can be absorbed immediately once it reaches the edge of the film. So I'm curious, do any of you have any other tips and tricks for installing this type of window film? Please share in the comments below so we can all learn together. If the film touches the window frame or the gasket, it's gonna create those finger bubbles and it will not lay flat. You want to fix this trim. So there is about a 16th gap between the window frame and your window tint. Make sure you use the yellow card to keep a clean cut. Then squeegee the solution out once more. It looks so much better now. Here's the finished product. It's obviously still a window, but at least you can see the tint is now on the both top and bottom. It is by far not my favorite DIY, but it is effective for energy costs and to just keep this room a bit cooler, plus privacy, which is fantastic. I did have to do a whole nother pain, so I absolutely recommend two people. It is so much easier with two people and a lot of patience, especially if it's your first time, it's gonna take you a little bit. I've done this many times and I'm still not perfect at it. You can see all my mess down on the floor here, all the scraps I had to toss a whole other one. So there's a little bit of realism for you. But if you'd like to see another DIY, you can click the card right up here or click here for an entire playlist. And I will see you guys in the next video.